Recording. Good morning. This is week five. Progress grades are coming out. Uh, I think it opens today, so they'll be posting this week. Um, I'll probably get them posted today and tomorrow because um, I did grade everything this morning. So if you are wanting any last minute things to get them in before I post progress grades, get them in today because I'm going to probably finish and then get them posted either later today or first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, so we're officially halfway through the quarter. It's going, it's going fast. All right. Um, so welcome to Junior Studies uh, for week five. So this is our first meeting of the week. So really quick, I just asked students if you're watching the playback um, in the announcements for my evaluation, I'm just asking if students don't mind taking a minute, filling out just a quick survey about how I'm doing. It is anonymous, so um, and so, so you can be honest. Don't worry about somebody tracking you down. How dare you say that, whatever, um, and stuff. So. But I really appreciate that because um, my supervisor, that just kind of gives them an insight from the student perspective um, and not just my word for how class goes. OK, so appreciate it if you take the time for that. OK, this week we are um, going to jump over into modules. All right. So hopefully you're finishing up. Um, I do want to get started to make sure that we um, have time um, to get our assignment done today. Oh, OK, let me go down here. Okay, so lesson and recording page. Remember each week, this is where you can find exactly what we did each day and this is where you can find those recording playbacks, okay? So for each past week, if you're missing anything, if you're not sure how to do something, then those recordings can be really helpful. Um, it also tells you exactly what to do that week as well as obviously what's in the module, it tells you that, but that's just an opportunity um, to make sure that you're following that, okay? So we're on week five, and there's going to be two things we're going to focus on this week, okay? So today we're going to focus on um, exploring kind of what might your, how might your skills and interests align with a career, okay? So remember how we talked uh, last week about the ASVAP, and if you are thinking about maybe going into the military or, again, kind of lacking direction, you're like, I don't really know what I want to do. I encourage taking the ASVAP. So we're going to do kind of a small version of that today, where you take a couple of questionnaires and you're not getting graded on it it helps then based on your responses to align possible careers that would align with your skills what you're good at or things that you're interested in and then and then starting to kind of figure out what goes into that okay do i need to go to school for that do i need to go to trade school can i just get a job do i just work my way up you know and kind of giving you options start to think about some things and maybe even make you aware of other careers you've never really thought about so as we're going to do today and then um, Wednesday when we meet, tomorrow when we meet, um, then we'll work on exact path. Okay, so you'll do 30 minutes in reading, 30 minutes in um, math, and that'll be exact path. So we'll do that in class tomorrow. Okay, so for today, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on the career exploration self-assessment overview. So we're going to click on this page and we're going to click through this together, go through instructions, and then um, I'm going to give you some time to take the quizzes and fill out your assessment sheet. Okay. So it just kind of talks about the importance of doing career assessment checks on, um, you know, maybe you already know, quote, what you want to do. Um, people change their minds. In college, 75% of people who graduate with a degree actually do something else with it. So changing your mind is actually a good thing. You're, you're at a developmental age where you're figuring it out. You don't have it figured out. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know if most 20-year-olds have it figured out. I really feel like your 20s are for figuring it out. You know what I mean? Here's the plan. Sometimes things go according to plan, but it's okay if things don't go according to plan and you turn right and you go down a different career path. Because let me tell you, you're going to put a lot of years into whatever that job or field is, and you don't want to be miserable. You really don't. And you want to make sure that you are creating stability in your life and that you hopefully are making a living wage, you know, that you can live and you can have a decent life. Um, it's up. All those things matter, you know, um, and stuff. So trying to kind of align your skills, your interests and things that you're good at. And um, if you are going to pay to go to school, um, making sure that money isn't being wasted. A lot of people think that going to college is finding yourself. And I am actually a huge uh, proponent of not doing that. If you want to go discover yourself, there's a lot cheaper ways to do that. Go go spend five grand, go, tr go travel Europe or go travel Southeast Asia and visit other cultures. That's a great way to like explore and really stuff like that. Going to college should have purpose. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. So it's it can be a great thing. But going just for the sake of going, um, I think that there are other things you can do. Um, so I really encourage you to do the upfront work. 
So here's how you're going to do that. All right. So if you haven't been paying attention, now is when you want to pay attention. So we're on the Explore Career Self-Assessment page. All right. So everybody's going to need to be here. So there's three things you're going to do. There's three tests that you take, okay, assessments that you take. And depending on how you score, then it's going to give you responses. And again, it's not like a pass fail. It's not like a hundred percent. It's just aligning you with careers or occupations that might align with what you're good at or what you're not. If you suck at math, then you probably don't want to do something in the sciences. You know what I mean? If you are, if you hate English, you know, writing and reading and things like that, then you probably don't want to go into academia. Like, it's okay to not be good at something. It's okay to not like something. It's also okay to be really good at something and enjoy that and find something that aligns with that. So what you're going to do is on this page, there's three assessments that you're going to take. Okay. And like I said, they're pretty quick and you just answer honestly. Okay. So you don't have to really stop and think about it. You just answer it honestly. But before you do that, you're going to want to go to the next page and you want to get the uh, the assignment sheet that you're going to fill out as you do um, those three assessments. OK, so it's here on the submission page, assignment self-assessment results right here under step one. And here I can throw this in the chat for you to help out. So you're going to want to have this open. All right, so let me know when you have this open. Okay, if you're gonna use my link, what you need to do is you need to create file, make a copy, okay? Because otherwise it'll have all of us doing it on the same one. <laughs> okay, so take that one, file, make a copy, or go into Canvas and click on the link and it'll make you your own copy. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have this open, have this sheet open, Okay, and file, make a copy, save it onto your drive. Then you're gonna wanna have Canvas open. And what you need to do is you need to take these three assessments. So interest assessment, skill matcher, and work values uh, matcher test, okay? And then answer questions coordinating on this. So how well are how well did these three assessments help you identify new occupations you've never considered? So maybe list some of the occupations that you had never considered before um, and stuff with the results given. What occupation do you think might be worth looking at further? OK, so maybe you need to you don't know much about it. So you need to do research. Maybe it's you didn't realize you had to go to school. Maybe it was easier to get into that than you realized. What education or training do you need? So would it be college? Would it be a trade school? Would it be an internship or would it just be getting out there and working and getting the experience? Uh, what academic skills uh, that you currently are using in school would help you toward that occupation? Um, how do the skills checklist and value uh, matchers coordinate? correlate, sorry, to the occupations you you want to research further, and what were some key barriers or challenges that you might find? Maybe the one that you are interested in takes a four-year degree, and you're like, I really don't want to go to college, so maybe it takes more, more education than you want to give, or maybe you're worried about the money that goes into that, or, you know, or something like that, so what might be a barrier? on getting into that. Maybe maybe there's not a huge, a lot of jobs in that career field. You're like, I love this career field, but there's just not a lot of jobs. So this might be, I might be setting myself up to be jobless, you know? So kind of considering those things, what, what might it be? Okay, so you're gonna be on this page. I'm gonna take those assessments. I can throw, here's the first one. I'll throw the in the chat for you. So this is the first assessment and go ahead and start. Okay, there's the first assessment. I'll throw them in the chat to help you out. Okay, and again, they shouldn't take too much time. Um, the goal is to just answer honestly. And then, you know, what sparks your interest? Okay, here's the second one. And then I'll get you the third one.
Okay, so take those three. And then as, when you're done, as you go through, then you can start filling out um, this evaluating your career. So maybe for number one, you know, at least pick two, maybe two that you would consider, you know, that it sound interesting, but hmm, okay. And then like, yeah, what, what kind of research might you want to look into them or things? Um, what kind of education would you need? Um, what kind of skills or interests do you currently have that apply to that? Maybe to try to figure out, oh, like it says I should, I would be really good at nursing and maybe you're really good at science or something, you know what I mean? Or maybe you really are a caretaker, you like caring for others, you know, like what, what current skills you have that would correlate with that. Okay. Any questions? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. You know what you need to do? We got about 20 minutes. So you know, so I'm not saying rush, but you know, definitely stick to the task. Okay. I'm not asking you to like sit there and ponder the rest of your life. You're not committed to this. This is just to kind of open your eyes and start thinking about it. Just like we talked about with the ASVAP. Okay. And I'll give you some time to work. I'll check in here about 10 minutes if you have any questions. This is a summative grade for this. So this is absolutely not only worth starting to explore careers but this is um this should be a fairly easy summative grade okay so if your grade is kind of suffering again you want to get that progress grade up and stuff getting these kind of things done in class easy peasy ways to help boost your grade So let me know any questions. Throw in the chat if one pops up, you're like, what the heck is this career? Maybe I would know, maybe stump us all, I don't know. There's careers out there I've never heard of even. So, I mean, so I'd love to hear, you know, like, says I should be a circus conductor. I don't know, <laughs> you're like, how would one get paired to being a circus conductor, right? Like. <laughs> Travel, animals, performing, clowns? I don't know.
How are you doing? Are we at least through maybe two of the assessments? Give me a thumbs up. We're getting through a couple of the assessments. Okay, and so getting that third one done, start filling out that form. Okay, awesome. Maybe keep these open on different tabs. You can come back to the results if you need to. Okay, about five more minutes. So at this point, hopefully you're done with the assessments, okay? And then going to the next page, you're filling out that worksheet, right? Evaluate your career, make a copy. So in a sentence or two is fine for each one. So how well did it go? Pick a couple careers maybe that popped up that interest you, okay? Um, so the results, um, you know, which occupations do you find maybe most worth your time exploring a little more? What kind of training or education would you need? It should list it, um, you know, next to that, if it's just experience or associates, which is a two-year degree, maybe trade school, maybe you need a bachelor's four-year degree or more. What are some academic skills, classes, or things you have now that you think apply? What sort of checklist or values do you think correlated um, with 
you aligning maybe with those possible careers? And then what are some barriers? Maybe it's school's expensive. Maybe you're just not motivated. Maybe um, there's not a huge career field for that. There's not a lot of opportunity. Um, so what might be some of the barriers or issues? Okay, we're going to start wrapping things up. All right, class is going to end here in one minute. So making sure you get this done. If you need some time to finish this, um, we'll have a little bit of time beginning of class tomorrow. We'll have about five, 10 minutes, okay? And then we'll have about an hour to work in exact path, okay? So save this if you're not done. You can finish it up tomorrow, okay? Come back tomorrow. We'll review this, give you time to finish, and then um, we will work in exact path, all right? Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Araceli. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Marlene. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Delija. Have a great day.